Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job. This is a classic HP laptop. Well, the customer is saying HP 15-G094. Laptop turns on, but it will not boot. Uh, first, from what I see, the laptop is not charging. I have the charging light, but it's not charging. So I suppose the battery is kind of gone. Now let's power on the laptop. The laptop indeed comes on. I can hear the fan. You can see the current. We have backlight, but no picture on the screen. Hmm? So what can be the problem? Now the caps lock. I can't see it working yet. Let's wait. Because I believe this laptop is loading the windows. That's what I believe. Yeah, check here. The caps lock is responding. That's mean the system is not frozen. Now, the backlight, yeah, I can adjust the brightness. That means the system is responding. So, uh, I think we should go to the screen, yeah? I did check on the external HDMI. It's not working. But not all laptops that are working like that, you know, you have to switch on Windows, whatever, HDMI, yeah? Let's open the screen and have a look. I mean, this can be a symptom of a uh, symptom someone replaces the screen without disconnecting the battery. That's what happened. The graphic will die. But this one doesn't look like someone opened it before. Or maybe, maybe, you know what, it is possible. No, the screen is untouched, you can see. Let's have a look at the connector. Let's clean the screen connector a little bit. Yeah, we can have a dead screen, yes. And no, we don't have picture. <laughs> and that sucks. That proper sucks. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper, check voltages and things on the screen. So we have the inverter here, but we have nothing to do with the inverter. We must have 3.3, we have a fuse there, let's see. Do we have 3.3 there? The fuse is good. And we have 3.3, exactly 3.3. And after the fuse, 3.3. So the fuse, it is good. So we replace the screen with a new one. And the laptop is doing exactly the same. Exactly the same. So it's not the screen. Yeah. You know what? I've seen this fold before. And you won't like it. I've seen this fall before and it's from CPU. But we're gonna see, yeah, with a little bit of heat, maybe we can uh, we can trigger the CPU to work normally. When you have AMD, you don't have like ME region and things like that, so uh, Uh, cannot be like a BIOS issue. I, I mean, the probability to be a BIOS is low. Yeah, and the laptop is on. And still no picture. So we are on a different day. And uh, just want to speak a little bit before I start. So... What do we have here? We have a laptop which is coming on. I can see it's loading the windows because I can see the hard drive activity. The keyboard is responding, but actually you have just, you know, just backlight, no picture on the screen. Now this is an AMD CPU. Uh, most likely this kind of fault, if it's not the screen, uh, probably is the CPU or anything related with the graphics. Now, you know, it's, I'm just saying, 
you know, I'm just saying. Uh, I bought another motherboard. I mean, you have to think this motherboard cost. That's that, that's why it's good to check. So this motherboard, it was 19 pounds, a good motherboard. Yeah, we can see here, you bought this item. Yeah, so 19 pounds for a working motherboard. 19 pounds for a working motherboard, or spending some time on a on on a repair, which you know most likely it is the CPU. You know, I'm just saying, because replacing a motherboard doesn't require skills, yeah? I mean, anyone can do it. Like, okay, you are the customer, and you want to fix your laptop. Okay, let's buy another motherboard. It's like, okay, 19 pounds with free delivery, and you just replace it. You know, don't need tools apart from a screwdriver and some thermal paste. You don't need anything. And you fix your laptop, it and it will end up costing you 19 pounds. That's the thing, yeah? Of course, depends on the laptop, the price is different. But yeah, checking a little bit the eBay and see actually, you know, because the people are selling like motherboards. This, this is kind of old, yeah? It has few years, this laptop. So let's replace the motherboard quickly on this one. I mean, I'm just saying to keep your mind open because uh you know i was uh, i was like okay this is most likely the cpu probably i can't fix it but then yeah let's check the ebay for uh, for another motherboard and see what price has a motherboard like this 19 pounds working motherboard so it took us like one minute to take the motherboard out not more than that So what do we need? We need to swap the, the heatsink and the RAM memory and let's see if the BIOS battery No, the BIOS battery actually it is present, yeah? So you see this board has a design flow you see here the tape, you have a yellow tape and yellow tape here. Probably the heatsink can touch those capacitors and short them. That's why they use uh, yellow tape. So the RAM memory, we are swapping the RAM memory. Then the heatsink. Yeah, that's the heatsink. Let's clean and add uh, some thermal paste, like a fresh thermal paste. Grizzly, that's a good one. I think it's Croconaut. This is good for gaming motherboards. This is not gaming, but the motherboard deserves a good thermal paste. Now back the heatsink. I mean, eBay, eBay has that program, the buyer protection, so you see, nothing can go wrong. I mean, if it's not working, it's not working. You can send it back. Usually, the people are not uh, scamming the other people, apart from the components, when it's about a motherboard. Yeah, let's plug the charger. Same, let's shorten the first two pins. I can see the light here. That's mean the board most likely it's working. So shorting the first two pins, the fan is spinning. Let's see if we have a picture. Oh, the screen connector, sorry. LOL. How, how I could forget the screen connector? I can't believe. Yeah, screen connector is plugged in. Let's try one more time. And we don't have picture. I can't believe that's crazy. Oh, that but it cannot be the ribbon cable. What do you mean the ribbon cable? No, cannot be the ribbon cable. Usually, when you have an issue with the ribbon cable, you have like one color missing, but no, like no picture. No way. <laughs> this is 
This is so embarrassing, you know, you buy a motherboard and the laptop still not working. That's crazy, I checked with another screen. How can be the ribbon cable? It's not like that. No, no, no. It's... This is so embarrassing, you know. I feel so bad. I mean, all I bought up, uh, you know, I go over my price and buy a good motherboard. But actually, the motherboard is, is, is making no difference. So all what can be, all what can be is the, the screen uh, ribbon cable. What could be the problem? If it is a problem, it must be here on the corner. I think it's nothing to do just to check pin by pin. Uh, just to check pin, pin by pin the connectors. Otherwise, I can't really see what can be done here. We don't have another ribbon cable, so uh, yeah. So check here, yeah, check here. This doesn't seem right. So this is like a data pin, yeah, this one. You see those lines are data lines, two here, two here. So the screen is not plugged in, we have 1.3 ohms. Taking the screen connector out. Yeah, so the screen connector is out right now and we have nothing, okay? So that's proof the fact actually our cable is shorted, yeah? It's short. This is unexpected because usually the f the wires are getting interrupted here. When it's getting interrupted, you have like a missing color on the screen, but nothing more. Like this one has no picture at all. So where can this can be shorted? Here, probably here. I mean, this here is the the the, the biggest uh, probability to have like a shorted thing inside. So. Do you think here can be a short? So where is my wire shorted? Let's check again with the motherboard. So with the motherboard, we had short here. It's not short anymore, you can see. It's not short anymore. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Let's test. This is the old motherboard. I can't believe I fell in this trap. I can't believe. Okay, plug in the charger. And it's working. I can't believe. I can't believe. <laughs> I was so wrong. So this is the new motherboard. Which, which seems to be working fine. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, we just bought it. But I can bet even if I put back the old motherboard, it will work the same. <sighs> That's crazy. And we don't even know... Which wire is the problem there? I mean, the wire is not interrupted. I don't try to make the point. This kind of fault is not from an interrupted wire. This fault is from a shorted wire to ground. And you will not usually see something like that. You will see broken wires. That's what you will see. So now it doesn't matter what I'm doing with the wire. Now it's working perfect. Yeah, you can see. It's working perfect. It's no issue anymore. Insane, insane, insane. You see the colors different on the screen, but trust me, the colors are perfect on the screen. Yeah. That sucks, you know what? That sucks. So now the wire is not shorted, so there's no way you can find it. 
finally I got the cable. This is the old one and I was able to finish the job in a proper way. Now, here are a lot of things yeah, to remember from this video. The most important thing, what you have to remember, is Sorin has a motherboard for sale on eBay. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so actually I feed back the customer motherboard, a lot of it's on, working fine, yeah, everything is fine. So we bought the motherboard for nothing, of course the seller doesn't accept return, so I have to sell it. I'm just, that, that was just a joke, yeah, don't, don't get it in serious. But being sloppy and uh, trying, you know... Actually, the way to go with this kind of, yeah, you have no picture. The first thing what you have to check is to check the data lines. Yeah, you have backlight. Okay, fine. You see, actually, it's loading the windows. You can see the hard drive uh, activity here on the LED. Very simple to check the to check with oscilloscope. Yeah, it's it, 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 few seconds. Yeah, so let me let me try. Let me try to do it. Um, so you can see the oscilloscope and you can see the microscope on the same time. Okay, so like that. Let's check together. Let's check together. So what do we have here? I mean, the data lines are very easily to be identified. Yeah. So pay attention here. Just pay attention. Just follow the path. Yeah. We have pairs of two coming from the from the screen connector. You can see pairs of two. So actually we have four pairs of two pins, you can see. So those are data lines. And they are coming, you know what, this, this is so clear. So they are coming straight to this chip, which is a RTD2132. Okay, what this chip is doing? <laughs> what this chip is doing? It's a LVDC adapter or driver. That's what it's doing. So we can check the signals which are going to the screen with the oscilloscope. So pay attention on the on the oscilloscope screen. Now let's take, yeah? First, from here, you can see on the oscilloscope. Second, third, you can see signal, four. And you have four more. This one, check the signal. Check the signal. Check the signal. And check the signal. So you can see it was, was such a easy diagnostic you know to do it like in a in a proper way but yeah i screwed up i uh, you know just go blind and uh, first go and ask my you know the shop i wore before okay give me a screen you know because i believe it's a screen fold then after that order uh, a new motherboard and uh, yeah proved to be like the, the ribbon cable was short at one pin, you remember? I suppose I'm just a, a bad YouTuber. That's what I am. <laughs> yeah, the laptop is going on standby. Let's try to keep him awake. If you have this laptop, remember, first two pins are the power on. You just have to short them and that's all. Yeah, and the laptop is coming on. Okay? Fantastic, fantastic. I will say, uh, just, you know, remember what uh, is helpful for you. And next time when you have a laptop with backlight, that's very important. Backlight present means the board passed the startup test and uh, actually everything looks fine having backlight. And no picture. No picture, probably from now on. I will go straight away with the oscilloscope checking the data lines. That can mean a lot. I mean, you don't have a signal. So the signal, where is going? To ground. Probably with the rear cable on the screen. You don't know, but it's not present. Or you unplug the connector and you check the signals. And signal missing, then that means that the video signal is not coming from the CPU, the GPU, whatever. Yeah? I mean, it's, it's very versatile. You can you can uh, you can check and uh, diagnose uh, more precise stuff all like this. Just apart from replacing the screen and the motherboard.
So I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. Uh, yeah, I know. And see you on the next one. Bye.